Today you're going to be looking at how to randomly name files and there are a number of different ways to do this. So I'm just going to show you two techniques today. Basically I'll list out the files in the folder I'm in. There are six of them. They're JPEG files. They all have date stamps as a name now. Um, if I wanted to rename one of them I can say MV for move. I can choose a file name and then uh, you can just use the uh, system variable of dollar sign random all capital not ransom random dot jpeg we'll hit enter there now if I list out the files you can see that that file is renamed to this file name and that's fine and dandy we'll do it again here just as another example so I'll leave that as dollar sign random and I'll copy and paste this file name there so move that file to random dot jpeg now if I list out the files you can see that that one's over here uh, issues with that is um, one it's just numbers there's no characters in there which limits the number of the amount of randomness so you have a more likely chance to hit the same number again which can overwrite a file which could be bad even though it's it's not very likely it is more likely than it would be if you had uh, basically a uh, characters that were case sensitive in there um, you also notice that they aren't consistent in file or in name size. This one has five characters where this one has four characters. So let's look at another option. And once again, these aren't the only options, but there is a program called make pass WD for make password. And it's actually to generate random passwords, but you can use it to generate random file names too. So first thing we have to do is install it. I'm going to sudo aptitude install make pass wd I will type in my password here and I will say yes and it will download and install that package for me now we can just run that package and give it uh, a few little switches there to get exactly what we want so we'll say make pass wd and we'll do dash dash char for character and equals and we'll say 10 in this case and it creates a 10 character password or basically just a string run it again you can see it's random it's got both uh, alphanumeric so it's got numbers and letters and it has uh, both upper and lower case when it comes to characters now this this multiplies your possibilities to a great deal so you're very very unlikely to get the same characters twice in uh, well a very long time so how do we put that into a file uh, for renaming so or take that output and rename a file to it just like before we'll run this command well first let's list out our files again so we can see what we have I'll grab this file here I'll say MV for move I'll say that file and then I can say dollar sign and parentheses and anything inside this dollar sign parentheses instead of printing what that says it will actually just put the output of that command in there so we'll say make pass wd dash dash characters equals 10 if we want 10 we can do different numbers if we want and I'll say dot jpeg because we still want them to be labeled as jpegs at the end we'll hit enter there and we'll hit list and you can see that it renamed that file right there now we can also throw this into a loop uh, so we can say for and we'll create a variable called I so for I in and we'll say dollar sign dot JPEG so for every JPEG in this folder what are we going to do we're going to move that file so dollar sign I because of the I we created here and I'm putting in parentheses just in case for some reason if there is a space or some other weird character in the file name um, and then we'll say as we did before we're going to move it to make uh, make pass if I could type today make pass WD dash dash characters 10 dot JPEG and then we just need to close our loop so semicolon done now if I hit enter if we hit list you can see it randomly named all the files in that folder all the JPEG files uh, we can run it again and we'll give them new names which are all random so you can see they're different you can see these ones up here compared to these ones down here are all different so 
There's other ways. If you have other ways of doing it, feel free to comment. But these are two ways that I like to do it, either the random number or using make password to create a random password, but use that for the file name, so a random string, I should say. Uh, once again, thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. There's a link in the description. It's Chris with a K. And I hope that you have a great day.